it's finally our favorite time of the month and we have right now the non-farm payroll and the unemployment rate news for the usd and for the cad finally we can make some good money and this is gonna be the last trade i have for today before i close my pc however uh of course for those who have been uh new to the channel and they didn't get a chance to know these strategies of course guys i'm not only doing here forecasts i'm also doing here live trading videos and to understand the strategy that you are about to watch in this live trading video please go here to my channel forex scalping strategies as uh, a playlist and now here you will find this video which is really interesting uh learn how to make money by trading forex in news that will be highly informative and actually guys i don't have time right now here to explain to you uh what i'm about to do right now in this uh video so uh without further ado right now it's 4 15 here uh where i live and we have only 15 minutes left for the news before it comes out actually this week i'm not in that big profit actually mm, around 1700 dollars profit is not really that big amount usually it's much bigger than that so therefore i'm actually going to risk um let's say around uh this amount 570 dollars i mean maybe not all of it maybe 400 dollars that's gonna be enough yeah 400 dollars is gonna be enough to invest on the news and of course um before we continue i have to remind you my friends about the signals which i have sent last uh, midweek analysis your ust is doing so well so far running in about uh 40 pips of profit it was really a good signal pound usd has also been activated running so far in 42 pips of profit um aud usd right now is ranging running in nine pips of loss usd cad i think it has failed due to this due to this uh week right here but if we don't consider it uh which i don't know if, if possible or not so far actually running in about nine pips of profit pound gpy has unfortunately failed uccchf is running so far in about 40 pips of profit as well so of course it was a good week so far for extreme trader signals and also um i'm going to trade the usd cad as you can see uh we have a uh, high impact news coming to the cad and the usd pair as well now it's kind of risky why because let me just tell you something so i'm going to trade the usd cad right uh let me just uh, draw it there so i'm going to trade the usd cad now i really hope that the news will be either very good to the dollar and bad to the cad or vice versa it's gonna be good to the dollar and uh sorry it's gonna be a good to the dollar uh so it's gonna be bad to the dollar and good to the cad if it was good for both of them or very bad for both of them then most likely we would not witness any high volatility movement in the market and most likely the pairs will just remain uh, at where they are but we are hoping actually for the news to be different uh, on both of them uh one time in my life i did that and it was a big bummer and it was really good news for both of them so therefore as a result nothing happened but on the other pairs um there was a big movement and the market moved with high volatility so i really hope this will not ha not, ha not happen again this time i'm hoping that this time um it's gonna be good for one of them and bad for the other so also it's really important guys to choose your broker um unfortunately i have seen a lot of comments complaining that this strategy doesn't work with them of course the reason is they are not choosing the right broker of course i'm using ic markets and as a result ic market is showing zero pips for all the usd pairs i mean even at the time of the news uh the pips will of course go high the spread will go high but it won't actually exceed three pips only as maximum and that is perfect with other brokers it can actually go up to 13 or even 20 pips that's insane you can never uh trade the news with such brokers that's why i highly recommend everyone to move to ic markets to enjoy this feature of trading the news and of course you can find the link to open account in ic markets in the description below of this video so uh we have right now 12 minutes left for the for the news let's now jump to the usd cad and of course i have to change the lot size uh i want to risk 400 dollars so therefore i'm going to use uh 0 0.85 lot i believe let me now uh set my pending orders which should be uh let's say about 13 pips far away from the current price trading buy stop 
All right, so now it's uh, exactly 13 pips far away from the current uh, price. Double click on it and let's now set our stop losses. So that's going to be my stop loss for the buy stop order, which can be um, 113. Okay, we can actually increase the lot size, but I don't know if my leverage will allow me, to be honest with you. Um, I'm worried if at the time of the news, uh, the thread won't be activated due to the leverage. I think it should be fine. 1.2 at the time of the news. Um, I really hope it will work. To be honest with you guys, I, I'm not sure. To be honest. Um, maybe even 1.3 should be, I think. I am um, to be honest with you. I'm not sure. I think it will not work. I think I have a feeling it will not work. The leverage will not allow it. But let's let's try. Let's try it. All right. So stop loss. Click and hold. Modify. Uh, even that. I mean, no way. I cannot go higher than that. It's impossible. I cannot go higher than that. Okay. You know what? Sorry, guys, about that. I mean, I'm just thinking loudly in front of you. Let's go to the Euro USD. 1.3 lot size. I think here it might work. I'm not sure also. I, I'm, I'm just really not sure. I'm just being honest here. I'm not pretending uh, that I know everything. No, sometimes I just really don't know. $300, 22 pips. Okay, let's increase it. One point. I'm sure the leverage will not allow it. I don't know. I think the trade will not be activated, but let's try it. Let's try it. Um, I really hope it will do. I hope it will do. Most likely this video will fail because uh, the leverage uh, won't allow the trade to be activated. Okay, $300, that's fine. Okay, $300, that's fine. Um, let me now set my sell stop. Trade sell stop right here. And uh, double click here. Now, of course, I have to explain to you why am I using the stop loss feature here. Because uh, you maybe think it's, it's a safe trade. You think it's a uh, really safe uh, way of trading. No, it's not. It's not really that's way that safe way of trading, guys. Now, what will gonna happen is, for example, if you don't place your stop loss, what will gonna happen? Then maybe the candle will make a sudden movement right here, and due to the high spread, your buy stop will be activated, and then the market will make a sudden drop. Now, if that happens, you are completely screwed, and you will actually uh, wipe your account. So therefore, you should always have a stop loss right here. So now what I did right here is simply telling the market, hey market, if the market is gonna make a sudden movement upon the news and the euro USD will make a sudden jump, then please activate a buy stop order and activate here a buy order and take me along with you making profits. Vice versa, here I have placed a sell stop telling the market, hey market, please guys, if the market is, or if the candle gonna make a sudden drop right here, Please activate here the sell order and take me along with you making profits. That's exactly what I have done right here. And that is exactly what uh, the plan is. Uh, investing uh, less than $400. I think the stop loss is going to be equivalent to $350. But again, guys, I have a high feeling that this thread will not be activated due to the le leverage. I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, let's see what will going to happen. Anyway, uh, let's now... Pause the recording and I'll be back to you later to show you what will gonna happen with this trade once I open it. All right, here we go, guys. Uh, 20 seconds for the moment. Look at the spread. Uh, guys, I want you to look at the spread. Watch out the spread. How it's now gonna increase at the time of the news. And again, this is normal with all brokers in the world. Uh, five seconds. Look at that. The spread is very still, it's still low. Um, okay, here's the moment of truth. And yes, a sell stop activated. A s oh my god, what 438 done? Done. I closed it. I closed it immediately. What? S what the account is three thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. What that was that was insane. Did I just make four hundred dollars in one single trade? Holy shit, wow, <laughs> that's amazing, guys. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm, sh I'm shaking now. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. If you can see me now, I'm shaking. <laughs> that happened very fast. That was unexpected. And that was Im that was insane. Even the gold is dropping. Oh my God. <laughs> I have made $400 in one single trade. Wow, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. I, 
what <laughs> what bothering me is the one dollar here even 30 cents actually it's 30 cents <laughs> um <laughs> should i open again no don't do that don't do that you will actually lose oh my god it's keep trolling wow um i think the news guys was really bad to the dollar um sorry i mean um it was really good to the dollar it was really good to the dollar um non-farm payroll is way way better uh non-farm uh, i'm not thinking i'm not thinking well i'm thinking about the money that they have made i'm just thinking about how much we have made so it was really a happy ending for the weekend non-farm payroll uh i was really surprised that the the, the, the ic markets allowed the spread to be on the, the leverage i mean i'm surprised that the leverage allowed the 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 i cannot talk I mean, the lot size uh, that's the leverage allowed the lot size. I mean, that was really good. Um, I'm so happy with that. So, very quick profits, guys. Four hundred twenty-eight dollars in just less, less than a second. That's why I really love an unfarm payroll. I hope you guys have also made profits. Please let me know in the comments if you have made profits also trading the non-farm payroll. So. I really wish everyone a happy weekend and I will see you tomorrow my friends in another weekly analysis video so until then uh, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching